as God has shown us by turning stones to bread. So we all must lend a helping hand. We are the world. We are the children. We are the ones who make a brighter day. So let's start giving. Okay, kids, that was just a short little intro to our day. We went to the VB flea market, had some breakfast, walked around, bought some stuff, had a good time. Now, ta-da! Here's the Think Tank Mind Shift bag that I bought that I haven't had time to play with. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pack this bitch up right now, and we are going to go to Pleasure House Point and look at some birds. The nice thing about this, very versatile, but not overwhelmingly large. I didn't need a Peter McKinnon four day, you know, bring everything in my freaking studio and house bag. I wanted something small that I could take out into Pleasure House Point, the state park, wherever, and not have a ton of stuff with me. I have a problem. I carry too much stuff and I need to not do that. So today I'm gonna to be bringing the A7C and the A7R4. This is all about carrying this damn bag out there and, and putting a bunch of shit into it see how it works, see how comfortable it is, and see if I'm miserable like I usually am when I'm carrying shit strapped across each shoulder and this, that, and the other thing. So let's start packing this thing up. So this has a bunch of compartments. Um, I am not bringing anything pretty much in this compartment other than maybe like sticking the mini tripod in, things like that. But I'm not carrying a laptop, I'm not carrying a tablet, I'm not bringing any of that shit with me. I don't need to. I am, however, going to pack up the back here which opens up into this compartment and then we can carry everything that way. Okay, for now, what I've done, I have taken the A7R4, I put the 100 to 400 on it, reshaped the inside of these separators, and I also have the 24 to 70 back in there. A7R4 with the 100 to 400. Here's the 24 to 70. Here's the rain jacket. A little corner piece up there, I have the lens, hoods, and caps, and all that stuff. And then I have a little section here that I've made for the A7C, if I need to put it in there, or whatever else I need to put in. But at this point now, I just have to pack both tripods. I'm gonna take this for the A7C, and now that ain't going anywhere. And I also still need to stick the water ball in there because I'm going to show you that too. So, okay, that's it for now. Let's get to Pleasure House Point. All right, kids. We're just now getting into the entrance of Pleasure House Point. I'm going to, at one point over here, when I can set the camera down, show you exactly how I'm carrying all this shit. As you can see, I've got this backpack on. All right, with the chest strap on, I've got the waist strap on, I've got the Manfrotto over my shoulder. And of course, I have my little fanny pack on, and I did that on purpose. I'm carrying it just to see how much, how annoying it is to carry all this shit. All right, on this side, I do have a, a rather large water bottle filled with water. And of course, you can see I have a second tripod on the back. And of course, I'm carrying the A7C set up with the, you know, the Ulanzi mini tripod. So other than this Manfrotto tripod with the monopod head being on this strap across my shoulder, the bag is really comfortable. It is a gloriously beautiful day out. And right off the bat, there is that giant green heron. Is that a green heron? No, it isn't. Is it? Hard to say. Because I don't have everything set up because I wanted to show how I would carry it, I'm going to miss this shot yet again. All right, I'm gonna get my shit set up so I can film these suckers. All right, so I'm gonna show you the ease with which you're supposed to be able to do this. So, unhook the chest strap, pull this out, and then I can just swing this around. back around and now I am good to go and because I did the work ahead of time it's already balanced 
Let's go see if we can get these guys. And he's still there. Yay! Well, <laughs> there, you just experienced my first dropped camera. Okay, so the crab is back. Don't know if you're gonna be able to see it or not. See, he's moving away from me. He definitely sees me. Super crab. This is the second time I've seen him here now. All right, the more that I think about it, the more that this is gonna to be too big of a pain in the ass for me to switch cameras and to get the 100 to 400 on this A7C with the cage and everything and, and then switching it out. I don't know that I'm gonna be able to do that, trying to maneuver all this stuff. But for now, just know that I'm getting some awesome pictures. The other thing is that I'm carrying this across my shoulder again, but it's all going on the strap of the backpack. So it isn't digging into me like it has in the past. So even carrying it this way isn't that big of a deal. Okay kids, that's it for today. I got a lot of great pictures, especially at the end here. This guy, he's been sitting there for a while. He didn't fly away despite all the noise I made trying to walk through the crackling woods to get to the edge there. So we had a pretty good day. Plenty of shots, a few different birds. Ooh, there goes a cardinal. We had some conversations with some friendly people. Got a couple more followers. Dropped my damn A7C. You got to experience that too. You did not get to experience my puckering butthole when I watched it fall. And yes, I dropped it out of my hand. But it's okay. So that's it. I think that this is all a great combination. I loves my A7R4, I love my Sigma lenses, and I love this A7C, and the whole contraption I got set up here, everything is primo extra good. All right, kids, that was another great day at Pleasure House Point. Got a lot of birds, met some fun, friendly people, and got to test this whole contraption out. And I will say that this backpack is a winner. I mean, I've got a fair amount of gear in here. I never used that Niebuhr tripod. To be perfectly honest, I forgot it was on my back. That's how comfortable this is. A7R4, very comfortable, very convenient. And now it tucks back in and we're good to go. Now everything's nice and safe. I wouldn't likely walk around with both tripods, but now I see I can and that it's not like debilitating. So. Let's hear it for the good old Think Tank Mind Shift bag. I will have links down in my description for this bag. If anything else intrigues you or you have any questions, tips, suggestions, just wanna say hello, leave them down in the comments and I'll be happy to get back to you. But that's it, that's all I got for today. It's hot as balls, it's time for me to go get something to drink. As always, thank you for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe, and remember kids, forward and up.